Welcome back. If you were with me before for my Qigong, I'm always trying to get this so that I don't have the lampshade on my head. <laughs> but let's see what I can do. That's better. Okay. So it always amazes me and thrills me when I do a practice in the Qigong and then I, and I don't read ahead with Louise Hay. This is November 26th. And it goes completely congruently with what we just talked about, what we just moved through our bodies, what we just integrated into our bodies in the Qigong practice. It's just, it just thrills me. <laughs> because I open up the book and it says, I am grateful for life now and forevermore. And we just did a gratitude practice. And when you look at um, scientists, and, and Qigong is a science, and this is a science as well. And when scientists or people insist that we take the spirituality out of science because it isn't scientific, they're not being scientific <laughs> because spirituality and, and our spirit is part of our body and it is real. It doesn't have to be attached to a religion. Our spirit is real. And so our spirituality is important to our whole existence. And, um, so those, those feelings and those emotions absolutely affect our bodies and what, we, what happens in them. So she says, I am grateful for life now and forevermore. <clears throat> Deep at the center of my being, there is an infinite well of gratitude. Oh, that's what I was going to say because I was thinking, so why did I start that train? So scientists have discovered, oh, and it's interesting to me that the sun is now shining on my face here, <laughs> coming out, clouds disappeared. Isn't that cool just how the synchronicity of the world works? Because I feel that light that is confirming truth. And truth are scientific facts that don't change. So look at that. As you look at the world with truth, what kinds of things don't change? And one of the things is the fact that different vibrations or different emotions vibrate at different levels. And each one of our cells in our body is made up of molecules and atoms. And those atoms are always vibrating. And there is a space between every atom. And what is in between space? What is, what is, what is between those atom space? Light. So we are beings of light. That is a scientific fact. There is light in us. We are light. And so as we understand the science of how our bodies work and how our spirit and our mind and our body and our soul work together, we can expand and come into more of what we already are. Because our magnificence is covered and shrouded by old memories, old experiences, things that we had to put in protections for, and, and those protections were really, really important. They needed to happen. But now as we grow and we are older and we have more knowledge and information, we can decide and we can choose, and that's the whole point. We can choose what we're going to use and what we're going to, we're gonna, we can choose how, what, what emotions to bring up at the moment and what emotions to receive and, and in experiences, what emotions we're going to keep. And I know that that sounds kind of complicated and a little bit of woo woo woo. And that's why this little 10 minute snippets dovetail into longer classes and con connections with people and building community where we explore these concepts over years together and we expand together. So here she says, oh, uh, and what I, where I was going with that is gratitude has the highest vibration. Gratitude and unconditional love are right there together. And so those high vibrations heal our bodies, our minds, our spirits. They're healing. So here she says, deep at the center of my being, there is an infinite well of gratitude. I now allow this gratitude to fill my heart, my body, my mind, my consciousness, my very being. This gratitude radiates out from me in all directions, touching everything in my world and returns to me as more to be grateful for. The more gratitude I feel, 
the more I am aware that the supply is endless. The use of gratitude makes me feel good. It is an expression of my inner joy. It is a warm fuzzy in my life. I am grateful for myself and my body. I am grateful for my ability to see and hear, feel and taste and touch. I am grateful for my home and I love taking care of it. I am grateful for my family and friends and I rejoice in their company. I am grateful for my work and I give it my best at all times. I am grateful for my talents and abilities and I continually express them in ways that are fulfilling. I am grateful for my income and I know that I prosper wherever I turn. I am grateful for all my past experiences for I know that they were part of my soul's growth. I am grateful for all of nature and I am respectful of every living being. I am grateful for today and I am grateful for the tomorrows to come. I am grateful for life now and forevermore. As I read that through, I thought, I think I would like to return to that one daily. That just filled my heart and filled my soul and everything that was spoken and written in that, what she calls a treatment, I resonate with and I nod yes, yes, yes. Thank you for being with me today. I love you. Namaste.